Hey guys, welcome back to another Dad Mods video. So today's game plan is I'm going to show you a little bit of coverage from a event that I had attended back in July, as well as we're going to talk about a very important topic that's been really just on my mind this entire summer. So let's get into it. All right, so as you guys can tell, we've got a couple of things that we're gonna be talking about today. One is gonna be a little bit of show and tell. I'm gonna show you guys uh, a couple of runs that I took at the most recent autocross here at Black River Motorsports Park, as well as we're uh, gonna just talk about the greater topic of supporting motorsport and ensuring that it remains a thing. Uh, what? It's gone, it's all gone. Without us putting our dollars, uh, sort of you know, the money where the mouth is, these kind of things, they go away. And we're seeing that all across the country where racetracks are closing up, whether it's because of regulations tightening or there are these NIMBY types that are moving in and building housing right around the racetracks, um, or it is uh, you know legislation that is starting to really squash things, or it's just simply people are not engaging enough. Whack. If you look at the trends, the automotive aftermarket has been growing exponentially since the early 2000s. But what's strange is that you would think that there would be a direct correlation between these two things. Where there's more interest in the automotive aftermarket, you would think that there's more interest in the racing world. And that doesn't seem to be the case, at least on uh, if you look stri strictly through the lens of what is happening with all the racetracks in this country. And my overarching message is very simple. It is that if we don't take care of these places, if we don't support these racetracks or um, the guy running the autocrosses at the local Kmart parking lot, it, you know, Kmart's not really a thing anymore, but whatever, uh, it could be, uh, you know, if there's a private business that's willing to actually open up their parking lot to let us run autocross or whatever, if we don't support those events and be a part of it in some fashion, motorsport dies out as we know it. Vandermeer Speedway will host its final race this year. The family announced that decision to make this their last racing season at the track near Morrison. For 65 years, Bandemere Speedway has been a landmark in Jefferson County. The once remote location is now surrounded by homes, a catalyst for change. Surrounding development has become more prevalent in the past several years. And once again, our family is prepared to surrender the location we have called home for six decades. John Bandemere Jr. shared the announcement on the Speedway's Facebook page. The 2023 racing season, he says, will be the end of drag racing in Morrison, Colorado. You guys hear me talk about Black River Motorsports Park to no end. And the reason why I talk about it so much is it's a revival of the old days of grassroots motorsport. And I find it to be very uh, inspiring. It's, it's an example of a single dude trying to save a racetrack, repurpose it, restore it, and make it for the entire automotive community. And it's been pretty amazing to watch that come together. I'm very fortunate that this is a local racetrack and this is actually a friend that I've had for a number of years. Um, so I get to watch these things really up close and personal. And you realize the challenges that are associated with it. But what's inspiring is we're watching the surrounding automotive community get involved, support it, and watch it go from being this sort of, uh, just kind of a shot in the dark, we don't know if this is gonna become a thing, to all of these people kind of coming out of the woodwork and being involved, whether it's working the events, it's attending the events, or it's racing at the events. And this is really a model that can work all across the country to revive these racetracks. A message that I've heard a number of times from people who are sort of apprehensive to engage in the racing side of things is that they're intimidated by it, they're worried that there's egos, um, or there is a uh, fear of breaking your vehicle. And it's showing. He just screwed his guy out of $1,500. No one wasn't close. He wasn't even close. Now he left while the light was up. There's a reason why I went down there. He had to and these are very valid concerns because in some places you do run into these things. 
But in my personal experience, um, where I've done uh, drag racing in the past, um, I've attended a bazillion car events, and now I'm getting back into autocross. Um, I'm learning that, at least for uh, the Minnesota, uh, sort of greater Minnesota area, is that that really couldn't be further from the truth. Now granted, my drag racing was sport compact, so it wasn't going to big competitive events like, you know, nationals or whatever. Um, or, you know, muscle car shootout. I haven't attended any of those. But for the most part, from what I've seen from the guys who do go to that, the local fellows that go to it, um, it's all the same attitude, where everyone's just kind of stoked to be there, and there is a general sense of community. And my message to those that are apprehensive is that, you know, if you simply attend the events and you start seeing and asking questions and talking to some of the people that are there, you might find yourself feeling um, much more enthusiastic, more embraced by the greater community. And ideally, um, you're going to be getting some pointers from some of these guys. Now, let's show you a couple of the runs that I had, because on this topic of not being the fastest, I think is really important to emphasize. Um, I'm not fast out there. Uh, <laughs> More often than not, yeah, I'm kind of middle of the pack or maybe a, like middle to faster guy area or whatever, but it's not great. I'm not the fastest one out there, but I'll tell you the amount of joy that I get from just simply racing my car and having a blast, and in my case, it's an F body, so tires are spinning and sometimes it's going sideways. It's an absolute riot. And that's what's important to me is just challenging myself, trying to run faster times, having as much fun as possible. So let's watch a couple of these laps because you'll see what I mean about, it's not the fastest, but it's pretty damn fun. It was it? That's cool. Yeah, he was like, that's how that's supposed to be done. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, all right. Dude, that corner? Oh, brother. God, dude, I had a freedom boner. You gotta do it again. Yeah, oh, was, yeah? Okay. That, that was like a 39 something, too. Uh, no, sorry. 40, 45. 45, 9 or something like that. That one oh, was. Fuck, that's not bad. Did that's I, good. Did I hit any cones? Nope. It's a clean no, run. Okay. I heard getting goddamn close to some of them. Like, <laughs> that's what Jim was saying. Yeah. Like, beautiful. Good, okay. Well, Beautiful. You're then doing I guess, damn good, brother. I guess that's working.
sure you guys got a kick out of that, especially the one uh, lap where she ended up a little bit sideways or a lot of bit sideways. And the irony is it was still actually an okay lap. It, I mean, it wasn't fast. It wasn't even my fastest run of that day, but it was smiles per gallon, boys. <laughs> um, I really just, I can't, uh, I can't preach enough about the importance of just like going out there and trying to have fun and being light about it. And understand that that should ultimately be the goal. So in conclusion guys, I really hope that this video serves as a, a nudge or inspiration to get out there try racing, or even just simply attending the event and making sure that you're sort of uh, a part of the automotive motorsport community and supporting it. Because if it goes away, the one thing that we've seen that is so clearly apparent is that it's nearly impossible to open up new racetracks. Um, and that should make you guys a little nervous. That should make you fearful of losing what we have because there is still a ton of racetracks out there that are running. There's still a ton of opportunities to try racing, a ton of opportunities to go and spectate. So, overarching message is, put your money where your mouth is, um, use it or lose it. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I guess, uh, I'm not sure what the next project is gonna be. I mean, I know that I've got a bunch of parts that are sitting on the shelf for the Camaro. Um, and clearly, as you guys can tell from the couple of runs that I did, it's uh, it's a necessity to get those in. So um, that's probably the next thing that we're going to be doing. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you guys on the next video.